By now you probably know actor Luke Perry, best known for playing Dylan McKay on the 90s show 90210 has passed away. He died yesterday morning following a massive stroke last week. He was only 52 years old. Now a lot of people are thinking, could I be at risk? How could I prevent a stroke? 52 seems pretty young. Here to help us break it down, Jonathan Bakhtari, Dr. Jonathan Bakhtari of E7 Health. So a lot of people say 52, that's so young, but you're saying it's kind of in, in the middle. Yeah, once you get in the 50s, you know, that's when we start to see the onset for a lot of people, diabetes, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, the risk for cardiovascular disease, uh, smoking, obesity, mm -hmm. all of those start contribute. Start to catch up with you. Uh, yeah, sort of a sedentary lifestyle. We gain weight in, in that age bracket, but it is still relatively young, and so other rare diseases can cause it, but those are the big ones that do it. The things that cause regular heart disease mm -hmm. can also cause strokes. Now, you said most of the people who have strokes are over 65, but you're seeing a lot of young people maybe misdiagnose or just think, I'm too young, it couldn't be a stroke. Yeah, there's been a lot of recent reports that uh, the, the, the strokes in young people are underreported mm -hmm. and a lot of times also misdiagnosed okay. because I think when a young person has some of these symptoms that we'll talk about, it's not the first thing that comes in their mind and mm -hmm. often it's not the first thing that comes in the mind of the ER right. when they show up. Yeah, I went to an urgent care one time and they thought I was having a stroke. They had me get back in my car and drive myself to the ER. I was like, you guys are nuts. So, but the signs of a stroke. So what are the signs, that, like maybe the typical ones? Yeah, so the typical ones we always talk about is really the acronym FAST, okay? okay. So usually you'll get facial droop. Okay. Uh, and then your arms can get numb or you'll have issues with okay. feelings in your arm, mm -hmm. right? And then your speech often goes. Those are the three main ones. And as the acronym FAST goes, then it's time to you call, call 911 right 9 there. Because the clock starts ticking for treatment. I gotcha. Now, those are some typical signs, but you said there's some like not so typical signs that you also should look out for. Right. So atypical signs can be really uh, sometimes confusion. Sometimes people think the person's become psychotic or mm -hmm. delirious. They're not as alert as they can be. Uh, so they may just have cognitive symptoms oh, okay. as opposed to just uh, physical droop of the face and mm -hmm. arm. Now, what about? Um, Prevention. Is yeah. there anything I can do now? Because this kind of scared me into, you know, straighten up a little bit. What can I do now to maybe help prevent a stroke? Courtney, really, the the things that also reduce cardiovascular risk, okay. which is the easiest thing, is quit smoking. Right. Number one. I mean, that's easy. Lose mm -hmm. weight. Uh, put in four hours of exercise, right. a low sodium diet because hypertension is still the number one risk factor, mm -hmm. a low cholesterol, low fat diet because that's really what plugs up the arteries in, in your brain. So all of those are lifestyle changes you can do today. And you can share those with your friends and family as well. Dr. Bakari, thank you so much for joining sure. us. I appreciate it. Mercedes, back over to you. My pleasure.